Hey everyone. So in a previous video, we talked about some stuff that you should probably have in your toolkit so that if something goes down while you're playing paintball, you can then fix that thing. And we thought we'd throw together another video of just generally some other helpful things to bring with you to a game. And then that way you're kind of prepared for whatever comes your way. So the first one hopefully is pretty obvious, but a barrel maid or a barrel squeegee or a barrel cleaner, something to clean paint out of your barrel. Um, it would be lovely to have a full day of play where you do not break a single round in your barrel, but let's be honest here, it's, it happens, right? Like it happens it, almost every time you play, I'm sure, depending on what kind of gun you use, but like barrel breaks happen, it's just part of the game. So make sure to have something on you that, you know, can clean that out. They're small, this one folds up, this one can you know, shove into a pocket, and then that way, when you break a barrel, when you break a ball in the barrel, you know, you don't have to just leave the field to deal with it. You got one on you, you can clean the barrel out, you're good to go. The next thing, kind of the same similar idea, but that would be a microfiber cloth. Now this is for cleaning the lens of your mask. Yes, you can probably just use like paper towel or whatever, that will get the job done, but a microfiber cloth is going to get it done easier and better. Basically, it's much better at like cleaning off all the residual grease and stuff, and also not scratching your lens while you do it, basically. You don't want to use anything too harsh, so a microfiber is nice and soft, not going to scratch anything, and that's going to clean up your lens. Uh, it's also really, really helpful if you do run some kind of camera, if you're running like a GoPro or something, you're going to want to have a microfiber just so you can clean that lens off whenever it gets splatter on it. The next thing would be a spare lens for your mask. Now, and I'm gonna say that there's a little asterisk after that that says a spare lens that is different from the lens that you already have. And I'll explain what I mean by that. If your mask has like a tinted lens in it, bring one that's not tinted. If your mask doesn't have a tinted lens in it, bring one that's tinted. That way, if you're playing in the bright sun or if you're playing indoors where it's dark or anywhere in between, you've got a lens that's gonna work for you. Because honestly, like if you've got a tinted lens that's great outdoors and then you play inside, you might have a hard time seeing. And if you've got a lens that's great inside and then you're playing in the bright sun, you might be squinting all over the place. So it's really, really nice to have a backup lens in case one breaks, but it's also nice to have one of each and then that way you're kind of prepared for all scenarios. Uh, the next one, super simple, water. This is actually an empty container. This is meant to represent water. I didn't realize it was empty. But anyway, bring water, bring hydration, especially if you're playing in the summer, especially if you're playing in the sun. Heat stroke is not fun. I know this from experience. It sucks and you kind of don't even know it's sneaking up on you until the end of the day when you stop playing and you pretty much just collapse. So stay hydrated. It's so important. It will keep you healthy. It will keep you playing longer. So like bring water to a game or some kind of hydration. The last thing on our list, bring another gun. Like for real, bring another gun, bring a backup. And I know if you're just getting into the sport, not everybody can afford to buy two guns, but if you have more than one gun, bring another one. Bring it so that if something catastrophic goes wrong with your main marker, you can just throw it in a bag and grab another one and you can continue to play. Yeah, it's cool to be able to fix your stuff when it goes down, but sometimes you just don't want to do that, right? Sometimes you just want to go out and play the game. So if yours is giving you issues, it's nice to be able to just put it away, deal with it later, grab another one. So if you have more than one marker, I would recommend bring at least two, bring something simple, something that's not crazy complicated, that's going to get the job done. And then that way, you know, if the unthinkable happens, you're still in the game. So yeah, that was, uh, that's kind of our five suggestions of things that would be a great idea to bring to games. That way you're just kind of prepared for all kinds of scenarios. But uh, what did we forget off that list? You guys got suggestions about other things that, you know, is just like a must have for going to a paintball game. Um, if you do have suggestions, let us know in the comments. And if you could like and subscribe and share all those things, thanks for watching.